Virginia Governor Northam admits to being in a racist picture, but won't admit that he's the blackface or the white hood. Go figure. Good afternoon, everyone. This is the Mass My Millennial Channel. My name is EJ, and today we are talking about hypocrisy in action. Yes, one of our more liberal Democratic friends who'd like to tell us about what racism is has been caught up in his own little racist issue. Now, don't get me wrong, I'm not the one to throw around the word racist. I'm just going what's in the article. So if you haven't heard, Governor Ralph Northam of Virginia, state of Virginia, who recently won re-election, is in a bit of a pickle. You see, uh, let me just go ahead and read this. It says here, um, that the Virginia Governor Ralph Northam is in a photo from 1984 from Eastern Virginia Medical School yearbook. But he did not identify who he was. He said, I'm in that picture, but I can't tell you which one of those racist people I am. Uh, okay, Ralph, whatever. Anyway, he admits that he's in the picture. Um, the, this is not funny. I have a nervous laugh. I don't mean to laugh, but take a look at this picture for yourself. See? You see that? I actually think that Governor Northam is the guy in the hood because that's the lesser two evils. The black face, you might get away with it. But wearing a hood, that is probably not going to cut it. So he's like, I'm not telling you which one I did, but I'm very, very sorry. Believe me, I'm so sorry. Let me keep being your governor. Let me win your trust back. Whatever. You know, the hypocrisy is this. During the 2017 gubernatorial race, he was facing uh, Ed Gillespie, the Republican. And he spent a lot of time painting Ed Gillespie as a card-carrying racist, you know? There was this very controversial video that he, his campaign endorsed, in which there's a white guy in a pickup truck um, that says, you know, Ed for governor on the back. And there's a Confederate flag. And guess what, what they're doing? They're supposedly running down Latino children. Now that was low. However, there are multiple tweets from that same year where Governor Northam is calling out Ed Gillespie for being racist. Check this out. You see, the hypocrisy is that there's been indicators that Governor Northam may have or may have a certain attitude towards uh, black people while on the surface is really playing nice. I don't know if you all heard the story but in that same uh, uh, gubernatorial race his uh, his running mate, not his running mate, uh, his candidate for lieutenant governor was a black man and this is real interesting okay I read this in the Richmond Times Dispatch. And so this issue is this, that Northam's campaign removed the photo from, removed his running mate from a photo that was targeted to a specific Northern Virginia uh, community. And we all know in Northern Virginia, it's kind of uppity. It's some upper middle class rich people that, that's up there. So this article is from October 17, 2017 from the Richmond Times Dispatch. I'm just going to read this paragraph. It says, The campaign of the, Demo Democrat, the Democratic gubernatorial candidate, Ralph Northam, printed some flyers that excluded a picture of a ticket mate, Justin Fairfax, to accommodate a union that has endorsed Northam, but not Fairfax. See, interesting enough that you can have this black man on your ticket to win you votes, but you cannot have him on your flyer for a specific community. For what reasons? I can't read minds. But it looks pretty suspicious. Look. This is funny. In, in Fairfax County, there was no picture of Fairfax on the ticket. Fair enough? No, not really. Alright, last, what I'm going to talk about. Um, you can see all the, t the, the, the tweets from that same year. Um, you know, this is just, this, this is hypocrisy. Like, let's just take a step back and look at Kavanaugh. Kavanaugh was accused of some very egregious crime. Some people say he gang raped others. Uh, Christine Blasey Ford said that 
he sexually assaulted her. So, but he was on trial for sexually assaulting Christine, who didn't have a lot of hard evidence and who did not remember a lot. Here, we have clear hard evidence of the Democratic governor of Virginia, you know, doing something that is very distasteful and disparaging to a whole entire community. The evidence is there, but the outrage isn't. This is what I call a double standard. This is hypocrisy in action. So what do you think? Kavanaugh was excoriated based on testimony from a very young girl who didn't remember much. We have a picture from the school who gave it very willingly. And then we have a governor who admits he did this. Where is the outrage? There is no outrage. If you look at Twitter, like, oh, he needs to step down, but we want to give him a chance to forgive him. This, these two things do not add up. So what do you think? Should we give him a second chance? Of course we should give him a second chance. That is the Christian thing to do. The, is he fit to hold office? Maybe so, maybe not. But you know, the truth does come out. The truth does come out. And it does say a lot about your character. Can people change? Definitely people can change. I'm just ranting about the hypocrisy. At least we now see it for what it is. Hey, this is the Master Mind Millennial Channel. I'm EJ. Until next time.